Educated Puerto Rico-based CEO. He's now fearing for his safety, receiving multiple threats for exposing the incompetence and the corruption of the Puerto Rican government in its response to Hurricane Maria. Jorge Rodriguez is the CEO of an international engineering firm. It works with medical and pharmaceutical companies. He published an opinion piece in the New York Post entitled, Inept Puerto Rican Government Riddled with Corruption. He says, quote, for the last 30 years, the Puerto Rican government has been completely inept at handling regular societal needs. So I just don't see it functioning in a crisis like this one. Even before the hurricane hit, water and power systems were already broken. And our $118 billion debt crisis, it's a result of government corruption and mismanagement. Let's bring in that San Juan-based CEO who wrote that op-ed. He's Jorge Rodriguez. Good to see you, Jorge. How are you? What kind of threats have you received? Well, it's been a lot of uh, hate um, mail and threats. Uh, they're going to kick me out of the country, that I don't belong here, that I'm not a Puerto Rican, that I'm, you know, throwing them down under the bus, that I'm selling them. Uh, shame on me. Uh, very obviously, in uh, very tough terms, I cannot uh, say um, in terms of um, publicly, but uh, enough to for me to get an armed guard. Obviously, I'm an engineer. I just run a business. Never done anything with government, so um, I got extremely scared. And then for my safety, I had to get some 24/7 uh, armed guard. You know? Well, this sounds awful. Um, Jorge, yes. can you tell us what corruption and what is the incompetence that you see in the Puerto Rican government? Well, it's, it's, it's probably 40 years. So, so remember, we're not in debt because um, we didn't get enough money uh, for very uh, real uses that we had, right? So we're 3.7 million people over 40 years we've used, uh, if you take the service charge of uh, raising the, the bonds uh, money, it's probably about, it comes out to be probably not, um, it's 118, so it comes out to be about 82 billion, um, 85 billion in 30, 35 years. Uh, we don't have anything to, to claim for in terms of assets. We have like a coliseum, basketball coliseum, uh, concert venue, we have a convention center, uh, nothing else. We don't have schools, we don't have bridges, we don't have roads, we don't have an airport. So obviously, it's just obvious, this is, I'm not saying anything that is new, it's been totally mishandled, misappropriated, and just uh, the corruption of 40 years that has, you know, just uh, eroded all our structures, our systems, and our processes in terms of government providing the societal needs of its, of its community. Jorge, where did the money go? I think it went to the pockets of uh, politicians and their contractors that are, uh, you know, playing, um, uh, how you say it, I, I don't know how you may say it in, in English, uh, a good word, but you know, it's a, uh, we call it big span, it's like, uh, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, and they just, between them, that's, it's very simple, that's why you have, uh, we have three, you know, between poor people, mid-class people, and, and uh, rich people, uh, you have a, a very small percentage, two or three that are rich, then okay. our middle class, which is just living, and then the, the poor. So our okay. income per capita for the last 40 years has been 18,000. It went from 16,000 up to 18,000. Mississippi, 30 years ago, was almost the same as ours. In those 30 years, Mississippi almost uh, 2.5 times higher, and we just stay the same. Wow, that's interesting. Jorge, that, thank you. That's really interesting yes. analysis there. Jorge, we'd love to have you back, and please stay sure. safe. Okay, stay safe. Thank you, appreciate it. So sorry Thank about you. those threats you're getting. Thank you, Jorge. Coming up, the big business.